Welcome to FOH. We're back. Um, we've had some dramas this morning, obviously, getting Ken organised. It's not easy, elderly, new nursing home restrictions. Um, today, Ken, thankfully, we're doing these this week so you don't smoke them all. But we've got the Romeo and Julieta Club Kings, as well as the Partigas Capitals. Sounds very much like two baseball teams, doesn't it? Fantastic packaging. I mean, you've got to think. It's, they've got this, their linear retro line, Ken. And so back to the 80s. And I think regardless of how the cigars taste, they're on a winner because tourists have picked these up all around the world. Um, they're beautiful. Marevas. So 42 gauge by this big. Um, they're on a winner. They're on a winner. I'm, I haven't heard too many good reviews, though, in terms of these cigars, Ken. So... I would like to start, which one should we start? I think we should start with the Romeo and Julieta first. Yeah, quick question, Did you, are they both intended as the same gauge? Yeah. Because, I mean, when I feel them, to me, there's no doubt that the, I know there's variation, but uh, from these, the Romeo and Julieta is a smaller gauge not by much, yeah. but it's noticeably smaller than the Partigas. So what you're saying, Kenneth, you're, you're finding some inconsistency. The two Partigas seem identical. Hang on. The, the, Stop the presses right now. You're getting some I, inconsistency in a Cuban a cigar. Question. Wow. It's a wow. It's a People, this question. is why you tune in to... <laughs> you tune in to FOH video reviews because um, we, cover the, we, we, bring, <laughs> we cover the big issues. Inconsistency in Cuban cigars. When did it start? Who knows? Sorry, Ken, you were saying? I'm just thinking, uh, you know, I had the opportunity to go and look after my mother today. I can get <laughs> as much crap from her. <laughs> you couldn't as think as of anything do. better to do, yeah? <laughs> You're at my excuse. <laughs> but I can't even open the tin. question. I'm, I mean, I'm, you refer to them both as 42. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You referred to them both as 42. No, now, no, no. That's what they have in the, in the I don't know, in the spec sheets, yeah? They're oh, Marevas. Did you, what do you exactly want me to do? exactly what you said. Three minutes ago, you said these are 42. Ken, Ken you opened any book. I looked at a box of wraps the other day, yeah? 25 dress you, box. You, I swear, not, you're not one of them book. looks like the eight one, one of the others. Not, I had to count. Not, for you're, the... you're not getting my point. You're missing my point. I mean, I and put just those admit two you're, Just admit you're wrong and move on, with. No, no, it's, it's a legitimate I'm, I'm, question. Just admit you said you're wrong, move on. Kenny, I Give can't open the tin. I can't I open checking. the tin. Oh, hang on, we're home. Look, I can tell. Shit. I've got two cigars here. If you, you know what? You know what, douche? If you actually didn't smoke the other cigar, you could have compared the frickin' both yeah, of them. No. <laughs> here's, two, here's two cigars. One's obviously bigger than the other. Well, we've come to the secret of it. Wow. Huge. Thanks, Ken. All right. Let's, open, let's smoke the Romeo and Juliet at Club Kings. Now, that's Rack December 19. R-A-T December 19. This. I really couldn't. What happened? That's what I said. I couldn't, I couldn't be paid enough to do this. Uh, still, I slog on. You don't have the skill levels to get paid. You need to improve your performance. Mm. That is superb. Draw. I'm talking about the draw, people. You do. Draw. Are you I'm eating half the cigar? I love it when you think a cigar is going to be plugged and you actually draw through it actually perfect. I get amused by very simple up. things. Pardon? Easy, easy. Actually, much easier to draw than the other night. Not that yeah. I smoked it the other night, of course. Um, the wrapper's not bad here at all. That's, that's not a bad wrapper. No. How's yours? A bit, a bit dry, a bit crackly, but it looks fine. So it was no fine problem. when I gave it to you, Ken, because it came out of the same box as mine. It was fine when I gave it to you. What? Are right? you suggesting there's no inconsistency amongst cigars? I'm suggesting that you need to look at your humidor setup and put some water in there or something. You gave it to me two days out. ago. I mean, yes. seriously. It was a week ago. It's less than a nice week. Nice draw. So I'm going to give this... I should have cut myself. There you go. I don't know how I did that. I think I it was, uh, this has been, this, uh, mate, I've seen some LEs which have, which have got worse wrappers than that. Wow. Recent. 
So what didn't is you like about this cigar the other book, night, Ken? Is there a book, Cigar Videos for Dummies? Because seriously, we'd be the cover. Um, no, there is a book, Ken. Yeah, but people normally watch us first. They don't go read the book. Uh, because they get more out of the book. Oh. What's the initial flavours you're getting, Ken? It's a bit hard, it it's it's a bit hard to, to taste anything. Um, it's sort of a bit uh, a sweet, sour, woody note. It's not unpleasant. Nice opening. Love that first draw. You're right, Woody. There is a sweetness there. Let's see if it holds. Mm. Hang on, Lenny, you well? So, uh, we, we, we struggle on. I'm freezing, but uh, but the one I had the other night was far less impressive. I mean, I know I've only smoked a tiny bit so far, but it, the one the other night really didn't do anything for me at all. Um, it was a bit... That was uh, God telling you you shouldn't have smoked it because that wasn't meant for you to smoke. Anyway, the keep going. I make one mistake. One goat. We'll be... We'll be uh, <laughs> Uh, we'll be back with you shortly. First third, Kenny. Yeah, enjoying it. Um, I'm impressed. Look yeah, the bird effects. Spiciness to it. Um, you talked about paprika, paprika, that spice you talked about the other day. Um, let's, let's go through it slowly, because I know you're a wine writer, but you're probably not over the use of spices. Paprika. Yeah, thank you. Um. <laughs> That's why you haven't I mean, heard I mean, it. Uh, next, 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 uh, next, I'm going to introduce you to things like nutmeg and cinnamon. We're going to take it slowly with you, but it's fine. Uh, sorry, where were you before? I was seriously, immensely I entertained. To, I had to coach you on Nebbiolo, and you're giving me crap about this. The flavour is, it's, it's a sweet wood, but it's a cherry wood, isn't it? Would you put it, is that, is a, a cherry woodiness to it? Yeah, there, there's certainly a bit of that red fruit to it. Um, there's a woodiness, there's, there's a sweetness, paprika. Um, it's an enjoyable little cigar. I'm not getting a lot of sp that spice though, Ken. I'm not getting, any, even through the retro hail, I'm not getting any. I'm, I'm getting spice, a lot of spice. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah, okay. Not a lot um, of spice, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting it's a lot. A, it's a lot better than I expected. It actually holds up well by itself. This is a this is a decent little cigar. Yeah. I wouldn't be. Yeah. It's, what are you drinking much, with it? Much better than the one I had the other night. Much better. Yeah. Uh, we did a, um, a Zoom uh, event the other night uh, with the Aris, uh, so I had some sparkling left. Uh, this is their uh, the new Blanc de Blanc. It's very good. Excellent. All right, we'll be back with you at the end of the second third. Hmm. Reaching the halfway point, Ken, we'll be a little bit quicker today because we're going to do two cigars, but um, it's, holding, it's, it's holding its own. No great complexity. No, no, it's... Um, oh, it's Sweet wood cherry. Sweet wood cherry. Did you have a, um, a a code for these? A code. Yeah, sorry. Um, R A T December nineteen. There we are. That that would be a code. Um, anything else I can help you with? You let me know. Um, uh, I thought you meant some sort of you know, the code, no, some sort of chivalrous code. No. You, you um, think you're double O seven, don't you? You really do think you're double O seven. I had some secret message. Is there a, just a touch I of sound? Is there a spy once in Africa? Pardon? Did I ever tell you know what? Ken, no, I'm just sorry. I, I just. Oh, wasn't sorry. We're still recording. Sorry. We'll cut that out. <laughs> I, I wasn't listening to anything that you were saying there. I, I just. You, did you ever remember, remember at school? Probably you can't remember that far back, but remember I used to get those, um, those sour cherries. I don't know. They were spicy. They were yeah, spicy plums. cherries. Pardon? Salty plums. You're thinking of salty plums. Yeah, salty little, plums. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's got a salty fan of it. No, I want, but this, that's just that memory has come back on this stick. That salty, a bit of. 
Yeah, well, that's just, to me, you're talking spice and stone fruit. Yeah. Um, that's intriguing. Actually, it's good. That's good. This is, this is fine. But I can tell you they are variable because this is my second and um, there was a mile between them. We'll be back with you to finish it off shortly. Kenny, let's wrap up the Romeo and Julieta Club King. Uh, first thing I'd say is, uh, to me, it has got that um, R and J DNA to it. Yeah. Um, don't you think? That 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 cherry, cherry woodiness. Cherry. Yeah. The Marilla cherries have cherry. come through at the end. Yeah, I um, I think they well from from the one example that I've smoked, which is this one here. It's been um, an excellent cigar. I mean, I, this is this is 89, 89, 90, 89. Oh, I was going 90, 91. Uh, yeah, 89, 90, the 90, one 90 yeah. the, the one I had the other day would have been 80, 82 maximum. This one's far, far better. Uh, well, that one came out the of the same tin, mate. Yeah, same right? tin as this. Yeah, but as uh, inconsistencies. Um, it's, uh, really? You know what? To, you, I'd, I'd have no problem throwing a, a fibre of these and going away for a weekend, uh, fishing or whatever, or traveling or, that's been, because there are times you just want a petite Corona or whatever, you, you don't want a big cigar, uh, because you don't know whether you're gonna have the time to have a, a, a larger format cigar, right? Well, I've learned, little till, I've learned, little till I used to take uh, SLRDCs and, or party, Partagas Lucy's and that when I went uh, trout fishing, because if I ever got the big one, I was gonna sit on the bank and. But the problem is, so if you catch the big one, you just want to go straight back and fish again. So I never, ever smoked them. Um, I cart them up and down rivers and bring them home. Um, so, but a little one, I, I may well have. This is, this is um, su I'm surprisingly impressed. Yeah, I didn't know. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything after the other night. I was expecting this to be, well, let's hurry up and get rid of it. But it's been far better than that. R&J Club Kings, where you get them through me or through someone else, yeah, they're worth a fiver. Fix them up. Don't. Absolutely. We'll be back shortly with... Uh, and, and, Pardon? No, they're not I too won't. bad. No. They're not too bad. I mean, they're fine. But we'll be back shortly to do a review on the Partagas Capitals. See you then. All right, now we're going to move on to the Partagas Capitals. Capitals. Okay, this one looks a little bit rougher than the R&J Club King, but not too bad at all. How's yours look? Mine looks fine. No, good, good wrapper, a little bit of that russet colour. Well constructed. It's a bit heavier. I, I mean, as I mentioned, these are a little bigger for me than the uh, Romeo and Julieta. So, looks fine. What's your draw like? Very easy draw on this one. Untouched. Super easy draw. It always makes me a bit nervous. The draw on that Romeo and Julieta, Julieta was, was pretty much a super easy one too. Um, yeah, this is a bit easier than that. Certainly easier than um, than the one I had the other day. Well, I certainly wouldn't describe this as e easier than the Romeo and Julieta. Mine's a lot firmer. It's a nice start. I mean, I love that first draw in a cigar. I mean, it's, it's going to taste bitter. You're going to get heat. You're going to get all that pepper. This one's got that nice toasted bread part of a spice note, straight up. Deeper and richer. Wow, that's a lovely start, isn't it? It is. Although it's gone 
very wonky burn immediately, right down the side, which looks as though it had some sort of, oh, that's, I don't know if you can see it on the, hang on, see if I can get it yeah, on. Yeah, I, I didn't see how you lit that cigar. I was concentrating on mine, but no doubt the kids I are trying to light it. Where are we? Now, that, it just went straight down that side because there's all sorts of holes down that side. So looks, like that's where you, looks like that's where you drilled it. Like I the, didn't no. drill it. I didn't see, I wasn't watching. I'll see it on replay, no doubt. Be in our bloopers. We'll be back with you at the end of the first third. First third, Kenny. This is um, this is good, very good, and very different to the R and J. I agree completely. It's uh, a much much deeper and richer sort of style. It's um, uh, nice sort of supple, soft texture. Um, it brings in that bread and sourdough, that sourdough um, body to it. it, it it's, it's got that beautiful partigas note. They're both, no. both true to their, their origins to me. Surprises no, the hell out of me. That nah, surprises me, mate. Uh, but you're right. It, it, it smokes like a partigas. Hmm. It's, there's no rough edges there, is there? None at all. None at all. Um, I think we did them in the right order as well. Got a beautiful bready note to it and just a little bit of spice and some of that spice is a mix between sweet spice and savory. I'm not getting uh, the spice so much. Um, not getting the spice, just on the, on the rip, no. just on, on the end of that draw. I got a lot more spice in that um, R and J. Oh, I'm getting some really sweet, sweet spice there in the end, but it's, it's not all its own way. It's not all sweet. Ah, beautiful. That is beautiful. Uh, it's almost this... like there's some caramel that wants to emerge, but can't quite. Hmm. Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm, st I'm still here, Ken. Yeah, you disappeared for a while. We'll be back with you at the end of the second third. Halfway point, Kenny. Almost a halfway point, and this is just getting richer. For me, yeah, it's absolutely. Good. Yeah, I'm still not getting the spice, but uh, um, it's more of the same. It's not. There's no great evolution or no great no, complexity. No, 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 you're not looking for an evolution stick, are you? I mean, but no. it's it's a it's a very very good Cuban cigar. I'm, I'm it's a very that, oh no, it's a very very good Partagas Cuban cigar. I, I am getting that sort of little little sort of caramel that just it just sort of wants to come out. You can just sort of see the it's, it's just bubbling away underneath and, and you, you sort of feel like it might emerge. So maybe with some age, it'll come out a bit more, but it's, it's just there. I mean, but... For all you guys who like a Partagas short, and I love Partagas short, so I know that cigar really well. Uh, this is just a, a larger version of a Partagas short to me in, in a lot of ways. It's a larger version. God. Well, isn't it? You go, you're going back to smoking cigarettes. Um, but you, you, you enjoy a Partagas short. I'm like, no, you don't smoke stuff that small, do you? No. I can't remember the last time I had a Partagas short. It was a long time ago. Um, very, very similar. It, so similar to a Partagas short, just a bit bigger. Um, but that's, that's got to be a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Now, I'd like them to release these and little bundles of 25 so you can refill your tins as having to go and pay for a new tin every time. But it's not going to happen. So they're only, only doing them in, in fives? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, in the... Partigas. Oh, look, look, you can see my bloody finger there where I cut myself. Uh, Partigas Capitalis, yeah. Little fives. Yeah, you want to be right. serious. Yeah, guys, if you're going to make something this small, at least make a fair number of them. Um, yeah, so this is the first two. This is the first two in the linear retro series. So there's more coming. Yeah, I'd say there's more coming. Yeah, I reckon. Do we know what they are? Are? I haven't paid enough attention. I only own the business, so I got no idea. Um, but I assume. I mean, I'd be Upman can't be too far away, can it? Um, but you know, on this limited tasting, it is a limited tasting for us. Yeah, like I've had one of each. <laughs> You know, 
but I had like it's not very, very, like tiny, I had very tiny here. expectations on this people. I had really tiny expectations, but this is actually, yeah, this is, it's, it's reinstilled my faith. Yeah. No, these are good. Okay. Not in the entire Havanos program, but yeah, they can still get some things right. Space, even a broken clock is right twice again in the day, but. That's a bit harsh. It is a bit harsh. You know, Dee's been telling me I've been a bit narky of late, so I, I should be... Of late? I should be more generous to Havanos. Good work, Havanos. Excellent stuff. Been telling you that for years. Drop the price by a third. And you're, on a, you're on a winner anyway, but drop the price by a third. We can really make some money together. Excellent. Um, I won't move my price, but just keep no, <laughs> We'll be back to wrap it up shortly. Well, Kenny, let's wrap up the part against Capitolo and um, or Capitolo Capitals. I'm impressed. That'll do me. Yeah. I guess it's slightly high. It's a 90 point. Yeah, a little 90. Um, I'm happy. Look, I gave the other one, what, 90, 91. Or, um... So this is this is 90, 91 for me. Yeah, it's marginally better, I think, um, but very Different. close. It just depends what what style you enjoy more, as oh. opposed to which is the better cigar. But um, right, they both drew well. They both true to mark. They both uh, exactly. flavoursome. That, that's I mean, really. What else do you want a cigar? To, to, the point it for me is if you like Romeo and Juliet, go with that one. If you like Partagas, um, because they are what you'd hope they'd be. They do show the hair. I said it before, I'll say it again. I'm surprised and I'm pleasantly surprised on this. So, did you think we're going to get some more money opens? Pun? Yes. Did you think? Yeah, I mean, I'm scarred by the Monty Open, always will be. Um, I'm just permanently <laughs> scarred, you know? So, if you see these pop up anywhere around the world, have a tin or two in your, uh, in your humidor. Well worthwhile for what we've played. Well, if you're going through duty free somewhere, you'd pick up one of those. You wouldn't go near the Monty Opens. You'd pick up uh, a couple of tins of that. A oh, great gift. It's a great gift as well. And plus, have it for yourself. You know, yeah. it's a great gift to hand out. Oh, well done, Will Havanos. We you nailed Will it. Will we see a Monty version? Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. I should be paying more attention to what comes through. But, um, but retro, mate, retro, linear retro. Tell you what, it's flavoursome. It smokes well. And until you get right to the very end, there's no heat buildup. I like that. I'm getting a little heat here, but until not as much. Right as to the very end. End. Yeah. But not as much as I got with the Romeo and Juliet. It had more. Yeah. Really good. Um, I'll, uh, yeah. We'll see you next week, FOH. Um, I think we're doing the Unicos. And we're going to continue the pyramid evaluation side by side. Yeah. Uh, of, of 19 pyramids. So 2019 pyramids. Until then, have a great week. Cheers. Thanks, Kenny. All right. Corona thingies. Have you found the cigars yet for the review? Well, I'm here fiddling. <laughs> now, um, I've got two Partagas and one Romeo and Julieta. So you've smoked one of the R and J's. You have. Was well, I not supposed to? I gave you two. I gave you two of each, just in case one was plugged, etc. But but you've it gone and plugged. smoked it. It wasn't Pardon? plugged. Well, that means I've still got one. All right. So today we're going to do the R and J R and J um, Club Kings. And the Partagas Capitol side by side, because technically I haven't smoked them yet. No, this is the big thing. We're going to smoke them together for the first time. But apparently, okay. you've already slept with one of them, so it's, it's all ruined. It's all ruined, <laughs> Ken. Um, hey, let's just. So it's just warming up. The, just warming up the instrument. Um, okay. Welcome to FOH this week. <laughs> we are already. Jesus, I'm not ready. Go this on, week. Yeah. I'm trying to. Did you want the toggle? Have you got the toggle in? Not yet. 
We'll be back with you once again. It's, it's not my fault. You're on time. You've never been on time before. <laughs>